I'm having peanut butter and jelly waffles. Well, almond butter, but doesn't that look so good? Mac made these for me yesterday and we had some leftovers. Blessings. So Mac asked me to pick up something from Shoppers for dinner tonight and here's the thing. I cannot go to Shoppers and not buy myself anything. Like a little treat, makeup, I just can't. It's not physically possible. I got myself two things of Smart Sweets. I got the cola ones and the peach rings, two of my faves. And then I picked up some makeup stuff. When I was at the gym, I was watching TikTok and I was watching like best drugstore makeup because I knew I was gonna go to Shoppers. Oh, anyways, I only got three things, so I'm pretty happy with it. I wanted a setting spray. I have like never really used a setting spray and for some reason I just like felt like I wanted one and this one was on sale and I've heard really good things about it. It is the Maybelline Glass Skin Dewy Setting Spray because we don't want a matte look, we want a dewy look. So I'm really excited to try that. So I want to start wearing more any type of lip product really, like any type of colored lip product because I pretty much only wear Laneige lip mask, like just all the time. But I wanna start doing some color on my lips and I've always had this thing in my head where I would love to have like, kind of like a foundationless makeup look, but I still have like lip color. I feel like that's really elegant and I feel like that's kind of like a Parisian vibe where like, women just have like sort of a bit of eye makeup and like not lots of face makeup, but then a lip. So anyways, I'm gonna try this out. But I've heard good things about these NYX, it's not gonna focus on this, um, about these NYX retractable lip liners. I also don't have a sharpener, so that was important to me. And I got it in the shade Nude, so I'm excited to try that. And then I got this um, lip gloss from Maybelline. It's the Lifter Glosses, and apparently they're a dupe for Fenty. And it's got hyaluronic acid in it, and the shade looks really nice. I got the shade opal so i feel like that's gonna be a good lip combo so maybe i'll try it tomorrow and i'll show you how it looks morning cuties um it is tuesday morning and i'm about to go to the office um i wore the lip liner that i got and the makeup spray i think it looks nice i feel like the lip liner looks a little bit more pinky and bright in the camera but I don't know but anyways I haven't put on the lip gloss yet so I thought I would do that now and we can see how it looks together um, I ended up washing my hair last night and I did another blowout but it didn't turn out as well as last time and I'll tell you why so you're supposed to dry it to like 70 to 90 percent dry before you um, start like the blowout process and again I have curly hair so when my hair dries it's obviously curly but I got out of the shower, then Matt got in the shower, so it was air drying for quite a while. Then I took a blow dryer to it and dried it to about like 90% dry, but I think that I made it like too dry. So then when I was doing my blowout, I felt like I couldn't get out some of the curls. So this morning I went in with a flat iron and touched it up, but I do think that the blowout last week, if you saw my vlog, turned out a lot better. So. Um, Basically, the moral of the story is that I need to blow dry it. Like, I can't let my hair air dry at all if I want to do a blowout because it's just curly. It's just, that's my natural hair. But anyways, let's do this. Let's do this gloss. I really love the packaging. I feel like it looks like Kylie, Kylie Cosmetics or something, or like something fancy, not drugstore. I feel like that looks nice. I didn't bring the lip liner with me because I just like don't see myself reapplying lip liner at work, but I'll have this to reapply, so. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you? My skin's been breaking out a little bit. I have like, I mean, I don't really need to point out my breakouts to you, but I have like one big breakout here, one here, and one here. So when I was doing my makeup this morning, I was like, ugh, I really don't feel like putting on like the lip liner situation because I feel like whenever I have, whenever my skin is breaking out, I don't wanna like attract more attention to it, you know? But then I thought there's literally probably never gonna be a time where I don't have breakouts. So I might as well just wear the lip stuff, right? Like, I think it's just silly. So I did, and I think it looks pretty good. 
Um, pretty normal day at work today. I think I have three meetings and then just some regular work in between. Tomorrow I have an exciting dinner. I'm going to A1 Cafe. Fun fact, they're actually a client of ours, but I don't work on that account. And they're doing a little influencer dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna know people, I probably will, but I'm looking forward to having dinner there because I've had dinner there once before with Mac and it was phenomenal. So I'm looking forward to that. And then Thursday night, we're having like a little Halloween party, which ugh, I have not figured out my Halloween costume. To be honest, I feel a little bit too old to dress up for Halloween but I don't want to be a party pooper and I can't be the only one at work that's not dressing up. So I have to figure that out. And then I may be going to an Oak and Fort event on Thursday evening. I just want to find someone to go with. So I'm going to ask my coworker today if she wants to go with me. And that's the plan for the week. So a little bit of a busy week, but um, all fun stuff and super manageable. So let's go into the office. Here's the deal, cuties. Um, I just went to the gym last night, but I'm going again now because I've got events tomorrow and Thursday night and I don't think I want to set myself up for going to the gym on a Friday night and I usually do like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Sorry, there's major construction so I don't know if y'all can hear me. Okay, I just tucked in this alleyway so I could talk to you. Um, anyways, so I usually do Monday, Wednesday, Saturday so that I can do my three times a week. But um, anyways, got stuff going on tomorrow night. So I'm gonna go tonight and I'm really tired. Um, I forgot to take my medication this morning and if you take SSRIs, you know that it can feel really bad if you miss a dose. So I had a headache, I got home, I was feeling really tired, I didn't wanna go to the gym at all, but I took my medication and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do like an hour walk on the treadmill, no incline or anything, just a walk, because the most important thing is that I am going and showing up. It doesn't really matter what I'm doing at the gym because that is the current phase that I'm in. My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed. And it was in this field that I came upon a clue Cuties, it is Wednesday and I'm working from home. It is about 2 p.m. and I'm losing some steam. And I have a big report that I need to get done this afternoon. So I'm gonna make myself a little coffee, probably an iced coffee. Um, I've got my pimple patches on that you saw me pick up from shoppers last night. I will say that I'm upset because you'll see in that clip or you would have seen in that clip that they were on sale for $10.99. When I went to the till, they rang in as $22. And I was like, what? And I was too lazy to like get them because I was at self checkout. I didn't want to have to get them to like cancel it. And so I looked and I actually bought 74 pimple patches instead of 32, which I will use them. Don't worry, I will use them. But I didn't get the ones that were on sale. But I guess it's like the same price if I would have bought, and bought two of the ones on sale. It literally doesn't matter. But um, anyways, I've, the pimple patches help so much. If you have acne and if you deal with breakouts and you've never used pimple patches, they're like hydrocolloid, I think is what it's called. And they basically, this is gross, but they basically just suck up everything. And they really like flatten your breakouts. And I wear them like all the time. If I have a breakout, then I'll try. I obviously wear them overnight, but then if I can, like for example, today I had one call this morning and then after my call, I just put them on. And so I'm gonna wear them until I have to go out for dinner tonight. And then when I come home from dinner, I'll get take my makeup off and I'll put them on again. <laughs> Cause they really do help. I find that they help so much more than even like any topical um, like cream or acne stuff. Um, but also they help because it um, protects your skin from you picking at it. And I definitely have a picking thing. I don't know if I've shared this before. I know I've shared my weird skin things, like how I have a bunch of skin issues, but I recently discovered, oh my God, what is the term? Um, if any of you follow Kalel, she posted a video about this, that she really suffers badly from this disorder. And I, when I saw her video, I was like, oh my God, I have that. And it's basically, it's not the hair one where you pull out your hairs, but it's basically like skin picking, but it's like you mutilate yourself basically, which I know sounds like really dramatic, but it's not dramatic. Some people, it's a spectrum, right? And I have like a mild form of it. Um, 
and Kalel's video, she was saying that she has like a really severe form. So I really sympathize with people. Another person that deals with that is Megan Ranks. Um, she's a YouTuber. Anyways, yeah, it was actually funny. Like the other day I had scabs and Mac was like, oh my God, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, no, I'm fine. I was just like picking at my skin and it made scabs. Like that's, unfortunately, that's like really normal to me. And he was like, are you okay? Like, do you need to do something? Like, and he was, he's so sweet and so supportive of like everything to do with my mental health journey. And he said like, do you need to like increase your medication? And then I was like, oh no, honey, like this is a symptom of my mental illness that I've never been able to get rid of. <laughs> like I've never, I've never not had a skin picking thing. So if you also deal with that, um, you're not alone. It's like a hyperfixation, and I think it has to do with like feeling like in control of something. I don't know. I'd have to really like look into it or talk to my therapist about it. But my, the way, like it's pretty mild for me and it doesn't really impact like my daily life or anything. So I haven't, again, I don't even know what it's called. I'll put the name on the screen because I should be more educated on what I have. But anyways, now that I've shared um, part of my mental illness with y'all, I'm gonna make myself coffee and get back to work. Okay, you've seen this outfit a million times, but I'm gonna show it to you a million and one times. So this is what I wear when I literally don't know what to wear. I mean, I wear this to work all the time, but just not with the heeled boots. But um, this is a black t-shirt from Aritzia. My favorite Zara jeans, my fave Zara booties, um, white button up from Abercrombie, and then, oh this purse from Oakenfort because it fits my vlog camera and I would like to take y'all along to this dinner at A1 because I know it's gonna be delicious and I know some people that are going so I know it's gonna be fun. I actually thought that it was at six and I was kind of rushing after work to get ready but it's actually at 6.30 so it was actually a really nice surprise when I found out that it was 6.30. So I'm just about to get an Uber. I am planning to have some drinks because I know that their cocktails are amazing. So I'm planning to have two drinks and I'm gonna Uber there and then Max said that he could pick me up. So let's go have a fun time. <laughs> turtleneck season I'm actually wearing my new vest from cotton when I said I was wearing it the other day I didn't actually end up wearing it so I'm wearing it today with a white turtleneck and I wasn't sure what to wear because what do you wear when you have a meeting at 1 a Halloween party at 4 and an event at 6 so I brought some clothes to change into but yes, it is a busy day today. I think I have like five and a half hours of meetings. It's noon and I meant to go to the office earlier today, but my meetings just like didn't end in time. I didn't have time in between them. So I'm heading to the office now. We have a discovery call with a new client that's gonna be two hours and then some more work to do. And then we're having a little Halloween party. Um, I'm going to be an egg. I don't know how I came up with this, but I think I mentioned that I just did not want to dress up. So I figured that I could wear a white shirt. So I wore a white turtleneck and we have like photo backdrop paper at work. So I'm gonna cut out a circle, like a yellow circle and put it here for the yolk and I'm gonna be an egg. So hopefully that turns out okay. <laughs> It'll do what it needs to do. And then, um, I am going to an Oaken Fort event with my coworker Morgan, which I'm really looking forward to because um, we haven't really done much like outside of work together and I'm just looking forward to going to it with her. Um, they are launching their new like loyalty program, I think it is. So they're having a little event tonight. It's kind of just like private shopping. So I'll probably pick something up. Um, and I think that it's a 20% off discount tonight, which is like 
generous. So I'll probably get something. So if I do, I will show you what I get. And yeah, it's been a good day so far. It's been a good week, honestly. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I've done like some really good work this week. I've been really productive and focused and it's just been a good one. So gotta ride that wave when we can, right? Here we go. Hey cuties, let's go to the Oak and Ford event. I just got done at work. We had a fun Halloween happy hour and it was just really fun. We played games. Okay, yeah, we played games and everyone really showed out. Everyone had such good costumes and I was definitely the person that put the least amount of effort into it. So I'll have to change that for next year. I need to change my attitude. But anyways, I'm gonna go to the event. It's a long day, but I'm excited to see what we find at Oak and Ford. Hi everyone, this is my friend slash coworker Morgan. Hi. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. Vloggers Big Night Out. Yeah, Vloggers <laughs> Big Night Out. We got some stuff, haul coming later, and I got some cotton candy. It's pina colada flavored, but I can't really taste the pina colada. Wait, I need this. If only it actually said sriracha. Little ramen bowl, oh my goodness. Hi, um, I just got home, it is 9 p.m. and I'm very hungry, I haven't had dinner. I did have some snacks, some Halloween candy and some chips at the office, but that is not enough for, I don't know where to put you, it's not enough. I'm just gonna show you what I got. Oh, the lighting is really not good there. Huh. I might have to like crouch down by the table. Um, I'm gonna show you what I got from Oak and Fort because I'm really excited about it. Biggest bag ever. Okay, so the first thing I got is this little purse and I thought this was gonna be great for like anytime I dress up and need like a little bit of a dressier purse. It's got this cute little skinny strap. The reason why I got it is because my vlog camera what I'm recording on right now fits inside of there, which it doesn't fit in many purses. And this is pretty small. So I thought that would be perfect. So I got that. I was deciding between this color and black and I'm glad that I got that. Then I got this sweater. I saw one of the employees wearing it and it looked really good. It's like a quarter zip like this. I think it's gonna be a great sweater for winter. And then the thing I'm most excited about is I got these leather pants because I've been wanting the Molina pants, but they just don't fit right. So I found these and I love them because they have like a like a seam right here. And when I first saw that seam and I was I was like, I don't like that. Then I tried them on and they look really good. Although the waist was a little bit tight, which always happens. Like it fits me in the butt and legs, but then the waist is tight. But they said they would stretch out five to 10% and they just looked like really good. And they're a nice staple. And I just felt like I tried the size larger and they were too big. So anyways, that's what I got. And then they gave me a free tote and it's actually like really nice quality. So love that. It's always nice when a tote is like sturdy. Like the one that I got from Cotton the other night is like very thin and I just probably won't use it. But this one, this is like, this is nice. So anyways, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad that I got to go with Morgan. And I'm just really happy to be home now though. And Mac is also out late. He was like, late at the office so he's coming home now so i made enchiladas like the other night so i'm just warming up the oven so i'm glad that i did that so i don't have to make dinner but i need to get some food in me right away hi um so i've been working from home today and i am so tired i feel like this week has just really taken it out of me it was pretty busy but i yeah, I have about an hour and a half left of work and I have a couple of things that I need to do, but similar to earlier in the week, I'm losing steam. So I think I'm gonna make myself a coffee and just finish off the workday strong. 
And then I want to clean up around here because it is quite messy. Mac and I have both had really busy weeks, but I want to do a bit of cleaning and sort of surprise Mac when he gets home because he's been working a lot this week and he is really close to closing his first deal as a realtor and I'm so proud of him. And I just want to like show him a little um, act of affection and love so i'm gonna try and clean up a bit maybe do the whole bathroom i'd love to vacuum but i just need more energy because i am exhausted like i feel like i could sleep right now but i can't so i'm gonna make myself a coffee see what i can do get my energy up and then yeah and i'm so glad that i ended up going to the gym on tuesday night because there's just no way that i'm gonna make it um, tonight. I mean, maybe if I have, if I get some more energy, like I'm in that, I just got so spacey. Like, you know, when you get comfortable looking at a spot, anyways, if I have some energy later on, maybe I'll go to the gym, but I'm not going to force it because I don't know what's happening, but I'm just like the sleepiest girl. Okay. So the coffee helped a little bit, but honestly not a lot. So there's no way that I'm going to be going to the gym but it's pretty nice out, it's like 10 degrees, so I am gonna go out for a little walk. And yeah, usually when I get home from work, like from the office, um, I don't have time to go out for a walk before it's dark, so because I was working from home today, I'm gonna take advantage of it and go out for a walk for about an hour before it gets dark. <laughs> Hi cuties, wearing my new sweater and I love it. I think I'm gonna be obsessed with it over fall and winter. Um, I just got back from having coffee with my friend Kelsey. It was lovely. We went to Phil and Seb on 4th Street. There's a Phil and Seb in Martelute, but I like the one on 4th Street a little bit better. Um, so had a nice little catch up there. And then now I am about to get changed and go to the gym because Saturdays are gym days. I was looking at my Apple Fitness and I have done 18 workouts this month and I include my big long walks in my workouts because I track it on my watch. So that's like, I guess I've been going to the gym three times a week, so you can do the math, but that also includes walks. But I'm really proud of myself for that and I'll be going today and then I'll be going again on Monday, which is October 31st, meaning that I'll do 20 workouts in the month. So I'm really proud of myself. That's like huge progress from where I was. I think last month, I'm trying to think how many workouts I did. I can just look it up for you. Let's see. Last month, September, I did seven workouts. Oh yeah, because that's when I joined the gym. Right? Hmm. I only did seven workouts. Anyways, that's huge progress then. Good job, Mel. So feeling really good about that. Um, I'm also feeling good because I didn't drink last night and seeing everyone going out for Halloween. I mean, I kind of have FOMO because it looks fun, but waking up this morning without a hangover was like chef's kiss and I would not trade that for the world. So that's feeling really good. I'm still um, keeping track on sunny side of how much I'm drinking this week. I did have three drinks total. So I had two drinks on Wednesday when I went to A1. I had one drink on Thursday at the Oak and Ford event, but that's all I'm planning to drink this week. So that feels pretty good to me. So that's the current progress. Let me see last week. Last week I had zero drinks all week. Wow. And then the week before that four drinks, but last week having zero drinks, that's like, that's amazing. Good job, Mel. Um, what else can I tell you? Pretty quiet day around here today. Mac is doing some showings and he's busy with work. I think that tonight we're gonna do a little takeout date because we haven't had takeout in forever because we're both like trying to save money. And I just told Mac like takeout tonight, it's my treat. So I don't know what we're gonna get, but I'm looking forward to that. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna meet uh, my bestie Steph for coffee or a walk or brunch. We haven't quite decided yet, but those are the plans for the weekend. So pretty chill weekend, but just the way that I like it. 
and I'm getting to see like two of my friends, which is really nice because I have to be really intentional about like booking in friend dates because especially living with Mac, you kind of have like a built-in friend. So, and being an introvert, I have to just make sure that I'm seeing my friends and I love my friends and I love spending time with them. But sometimes I can get so swept up in my own little world that I just, it goes like a month or a couple months go by and I haven't seen certain friends. So, um, yeah, another friend that I need to see is Josh. I know that Josh watches my videos. So if you're watching this, Josh, we need to hang out but um, I'll reach out to her. So anyways, that's the current vibe. Um, I am feeling a lot less tired than yesterday, which is good because I need it for the gym. And then after the gym, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just chill, see where the afternoon takes, takes me. My favorite thing on weekends is having no plans and just seeing what I feel like doing, you know? Like what do I need in this moment? And that's just what I end up doing. So I'm gonna go to the gym and then have a cozy night in and I'll check in when I check in. Okay, if you've ever wondered how much $75 worth of Indian food is, this is it. We got two things of naan. One is plain because you got it for free. Ooh, is that the plain? You got it for free if you ordered over a certain amount. And then obviously I had to get garlic naan because that's even better. Is this the garlic? No, that's plain, that's garlic, I think. And then the rice was kind of expensive, so we just made our own rice. And then I got two meat things and two veggie things. So this is the dal. It's the one, I don't know the exact name, but it's the one with black lentils. I love dal. Ooh, yes, oh my God. Okay, yes, that's exactly what I had in mind. So the dal, and then another veggie one that I like is palak paneer, which is um, paneer, which is cheese in like spinach sauce. That's one of my faves. That's what it looks like. And then the two meat ones, we got lamb korma, because we don't usually have lamb. Although Bubba, one of the fresh prep meals is lamb. Ooh. Lamb meatballs. And that's the lamb korma. And then the last thing we got is the classic butter chicken. So I'm so excited to dig into this. Oh yeah. Sunday morning and I'm about to go meet my bestie Steph. We are going to grab a coffee from Le Contoir by Francois. It's this really cute cafe in Martelloupe. I've been there once before but um, it always looks so nice and they have like little string lights and it's like always really festive looking. So if you haven't been there, I would recommend going there. But we're gonna go there, sit, have a coffee, maybe get something to eat. Um, and then we're just gonna go for a little walk because it's pretty chilly out, so we gotta bundle up, but that's the plan for this morning. It's 10, 12, and I'm meeting her at 10.30. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's been a long one and I feel like there's some interesting 
little things happening in this one so if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching um, give this video a like and a comment down below tell me what's up with you um, tell me if anything in this vlog resonated with you I'd love to chat with you in the comments and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe we are so close so close to getting monetized so it's gonna happen soon